basically breaking down cultural barriers and trying new things. Lately, people are aware of the need to reduce the consumption of sugar and saturated fat. Today, I'm going to share with you a recipe which really has a lot of butter and um, fat in it, but I decided to adapt it to the needs and adapt it to my personal taste. I decided to add some spices to it. This recipe, I got it from my friend, English friend, Julie, and she would invite me for this high tea and she would serve these delicious scones. I decided to make this recipe with some spices which augment the flavor and the taste of sugar but reduce the need for sugar. The spices which I've used today are saffron. Uh, saffron, if you soak it in milk, it releases more flavor. You should never add saffron just by itself. You let it soak in milk, brings out more flavor. Since saffron is the most expensive spice, it's best to get the most out of this expensive spice, right? And I've added cardamom pods. You peel off the cardamom pods and you crush the seeds. When you crush the seeds, it releases more flavor. And the other ingredients which are used are whole wheat pastry flour. Now this pastry flour is available in uh, some stores and usually I get it in the bulk form. That way it is quite inexpensive. You get it in the health stores. This is whole wheat pastry flour, baking soda, baking powder, sugar, buttermilk. I have not used eggs in this recipe as it would typically call for. Oil and, and nuts and uh, craisins, uh, cranberries, sorry, uh, just to give it more flavor to it and more texture. So what you need to do is add this uh, flour and sugar. Then you add, this is baking powder, baking soda. I, I like to add a little bit of uh, the cardamom powder at this time so that it mixes well. And the nuts. And the recipe calls for a little pinch of salt, maybe two pinches. Mix it well. You want the baking powder and baking soda to mix well with the rest of the flour. And at this stage I add the soaked saffron. And then what I need for this is buttermilk. Now buttermilk uh, blends with the baking powder and soda and then you don't need the eggs for it. So I take about 3 4th cup of buttermilk. To that I add some oil. I don't have to tell you but if you make this recipe with butter it really tastes good. Okay. And then you go ahead and add it and you have to be a little careful. You have to see how much you need and then add it. You don't add it flat out. You don't want this dough to get very um, watery so to say. And basically what you need to do is you need to oil your hands a little bit because that way the dough doesn't stick to your hands. Okay, got it? Okay. And you take the dough. And sort of flatten it out. Don't bother to make it very smooth. Okay. And then you need to make wedges. So that way the scones bake well but you don't want to separate them otherwise it loses its moisture 
also make about four or eight pieces to it. And then you bake it in the oven for about 400 degrees at about 400 degrees for 15 minutes or till it's golden brown and before you put it in the oven you sprinkle it with sugar. If you want you can sprinkle it with maple syrup, uh, you can glaze it with maple syrup too or if you want you can glaze it with an egg white that gives a good flavor, a good shine to it. So after about 15 or 20 minutes let me show you how it looks. This is how it'll look and then go ahead and make a little nice decoration. A flower always livens things up, doesn't it? And then enjoy it with a hot cup of tea or maybe a masala chai. So here, the same scones that you enjoy, but I've added just two spices to it, saffron and, saffron and cardamom. And dil please taste this difference. Aromatic scones, one eighth teaspoon saffron, two cups whole wheat pastry flour, half a cup sugar, two teaspoons baking powder, half a teaspoon baking soda, half a teaspoon salt, five to six cardamom pods, one fourth cup dried cranberries, seven to eight almonds, three-fourth cup buttermilk, and one-fourth cup oil.